Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make this macrame wine bottle holder. So first you're going to take the two pieces of rope that are for your handles, uh, fold them in half and then you're going to tie a knot at the ends on both of them. So now you're going to take the loop side of each handle and overlap them in the center so that the two loops are just stacked on top of each other. And then we're going to attach the rest of the cords with Lark's head knots to the loop. So attach six of your cords to this side of the loop and then we'll flip it around and attach the other six on the other side. Once we have all the cords attached, we'll need to hang it up on our rack and I'll show you how I hung mine up. I have those two hooks going in the middle there kind of and then I tie the handles to the bar so that it's kind of straight across. It's easier to make the knots even this way. This whole pattern will just be alternating square knots, so I'm just starting here in the center and tying my first square knot, making it about a half inch from the top, and then we'll continue tying square knots all the way around for the first row. Once you get those first three knots done, I found it was just easiest to flip my whole rack around and do the ones on the back. Tie eight rows of alternating square knots and make sure you leave a bit of space between each row like I'm doing here. It's at least an inch, maybe an inch and a half, so you get a nice mesh look. Once you finish your eight rows of square knots, it's time to tie a wrapping knot at the bottom to finish it all off. To tie the wrapping knot, you'll hold your wrapping cord in a U shape against the bundle of cords at the bottom, and then you're going to firmly wrap it around the whole thing of cords five times, and then you're gonna thread it through the loop that's left at the bottom. Now just pull that top short cord up to pull the loop into the wraps and you're gonna want to pull it about halfway through so it doesn't come all the way out to the top but that it's nice and secure. Trim off the excess cords and then you can just tuck the little ends down into the wraps.
Now you just have to trim the fringe and you're done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching.